Hello! In this video, we will tackle Philippine contemporary artists. The Filipino Artists Filipino artists today, especially the younger ones, are a different breed from their predecessors. They no longer cling to Western ideals but develop their own system of beliefs, forms, and styles by adopting the rich heritage of Philippine folklore, customs, and traditions. They are also conscious of the role they play in society because they know that their tools are powerful. They know that through their pen, brush, music, drama, or dance, they are able to generate a critical response, thus becoming agents of change. The present approach to the arts raised new questions about the role of the artist in Philippine society. In the past, the artist was very much part of community life. Through time, the artist's role has come to mean creating, to create something that uplifts the spirit, something aesthetically pleasing and entertaining. Take a look at this example. Since its conception in the 60s, Bayanihan has been providing Filipinos uplifting and entertaining folk dances. Fernando Marsolo romanticized life, reminding Filipinos of tranquil rural landscapes. Take a look at this painting made by Fernando Marsolo entitled Under the Mango Tree in 1935. Carlos Botong Francisco drew and painted genre paintings inspired by the life of his town, Angono, in Rizal. As a rule, the Filipino artist's role is fourfold, the personal, the social, the physical, and the immaterial. First, the artist expresses what he or she feels. Then, the artist expresses what he or she sees around him or her. Also, the artist finds the need to create something useful but also pleasing to look at. Examples are the Burnai or clay pottery of the Ilocos region and the Benig or woven mats of the Visayas and Mindanao regions. Finally, the artist gives form to the immaterial, the hidden truths of the universe and the spiritual force that inhabits the world. An artist reflects the time and culture of his period but seen in a different light. In this way, he or she gets to influence his reader, viewer, and listener intentionally or unintentionally. The late Nick Joaquin, a Manilenio novelist, playwright, journalist, historian, and essayist is a good example. He started writing under the pen name of Quijano de Manila for the Philippine Free Press magazine, chronicled the diverse heritage of the Philippines, and gave his opinion about the culture of his time for decades. The artist is a crusader attempting to sway the viewer to his or her side. The Filipino artist has become a social critic, exposing the inequalities of life, the effects of urbanization, globalization, and neocolonialism evident in most contemporary works today. The artist has also become an advocate for what he or she believes in. He or she creates an artistic controversy, thereby becoming an agent of change. The Filipino artist is first still. He or she creates not only to realize his or her personal fulfillment, but also to express a point of view. He or she is a storyteller narrating everyday life and extraordinary events, presenting cultures in different light, and recording and preserving history for future generations to see. The Filipino Artists It is a phenomenon that the world of art has been dominated by men ever since the beginning of history. Here are some of the few women who were able to find success into this male-dominated field. Anita Magsaysayho and Nena Sagil, both painters, lead Argilia, the founder of Philippine Art Gallery, which is the first official meeting place for artists, and Porita Kalo Ledesma, the founder of the Art Association of the Philippines. But now, things have changed. Women artists have become visible because of the initial steps of three women graphic artists in the 1970s and 1980s, Imelda Cahipe and Daya, Brenda V. Fajardo, and Ofelia Galvez and Tecri. They have entered the art scene to change the landscape from then on. They have started as printmakers but later evolved their own genres except for France-based Galvez and Tecri, who remained as a printmaker and a painter. Her latest works are a series of Philippine Madonnas. Brenda Fajardo, a doctor in Philippine Studies in the University of the Philippines, 
is a multi-awarded artist, educator, and cultural worker. Among her national and international awards and grants are the 2012 Gawad CCP para sa Sining Biswal and the CCP Centennial Honors for the Arts in 1999. Her nationalistic themes are taken from Philippine folklore, legends, and mythology. She then relates them to contemporary life. Imelda Kahipendaya is a mixed media artist, curator, writer, and organizer. She is one of the first to use non-traditional materials for her artworks which are usually fragmented arrangements of artistic scenes. She is also an active women's rights advocate. These women artists pave the way for others to assert their own identity. And that's it for this video. I hope that you learned and had fun at the same time. See you on my next video. Bye!